Hello, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Front Mission. Alright, so this time around, uh, we have a rather um, short and simple mission. It's a secret mission we're going to be doing this time. I actually thought we would be proceeding with the campaign as normal, but uh, when I checked out the chart that I have to map out the chronology of the game, um, it turned out that I actually had a secret mission to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to protect a prototype weapon to be used in the Freedom City attack. And... It's this northernmost uh, point that we want to go to. This would be the normal mission, and this is the secret mission. Backup you shall have, friend. This is a OCU Vonzer, I think, yeah. You'll notice already the number of uh, Vonzers we have on our team in the uh, OCU scenario is just so much larger than what you get in the USN scenario. Oh, that's a uh, enemy Vonzer, okay. some of that. All right, so yeah, we've got, um, this uh, sniper character, Gina, I believe joins your team with, with the uh, sil Silver Lynxes. Um, you can tell that she's part of the USN scenario because she has a completely different art style from the other characters. <laughs> I just have missile launchers left, so that's okay. We'll go ahead and use some missiles on this guy. The next mission we do is actually um, a more challenging one. Uh, it's one of the more memorable uh, missions in the OCU scenario. Uh, won't spoil too much, but... Uh, yeah, definitely. I think it's one of the, uh, it's kind of a difficulty wall um, uh, for people who uh, 
play this game and uh, find themselves really lost with the uh, game systems, I think um, the next mission might be the one where they sort of end their run um, because the enemies are quite tough and uh, strong. Like, yeah, I mean, the enemy units are just stronger than your units and you need to be quite resourceful in order to uh, win the mission. So we have some allied uh, OCU forces. Um, that the enemies are going to be attacking here. And that will keep them busy while we pick them off. Okay, let's go. Um, I think, yeah. So, send Yuji in to do some damage here. Yeah, these guys are not too tough. to get too spread out. This will at least protect the flank. No, 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 no. We want to attack you. Oh, and a miss. It's no good. Well, she's up to level six now. That's, that's solid. But uh, the OCU scenario is similar to the um, USN scenario in the sense that there's only a handful of difficult missions, and once you get through those, it's pretty much easy street. So we'll see how we do with this next one coming up. Um, and actually, this mission uh, with the train yard um, uh, its kind of reminiscent in a way, or I should say the opposite is true. There's a mission in Front Mission 5 that's kind of reminiscent of this one. Um, towards the end of the game, I think... Where was that supposed to be? I think it might have been one of the... Bangladesh missions. Not a little bit foggy on it, but those of you who've watched my Front Mission 5 Let's Play will. Um, I'm sure you'll remember uh, that mission. And that one was more difficult. It doesn't matter if your allied uh, Vonzers get destroyed here. They're just there to soak some damage and basically act as a distraction for the enemies. Oh, for evasive maneuvers, okay. So it, it is actually possible to take out Gina, but I'm not going to bother with that. You just get a little bit more money. Okay, let's take out this commander here. 
Oh, I should mention, um, as far as upgrades I did since the last mission, I upgraded the CPU in some of my Vonzers um, to, yeah, just to improve their attack accuracy. As you do. Come on, let's get up there. And I might as well also mention that I uh, finished the single-player campaign of Titanfall 2. Um, really enjoyed that, uh, what was it, the second-to-last area in the game where you get to go through the enemy base in your Titan. Um, that was very fun, very uh, reminiscent of Front Mission. really got me excited to um, maybe play a new Armored Core game that's rumored to be coming out from From, from Software. Um, you know, it seems, seems pretty obvious at this point that we're not going to get another Front Mission game, um, but a new Armored Core is exciting. And I've been playing um, a little bit of Armored Core 3 on my uh, PSP. Um, actually on my Vita, but it's the PSP version, the portable version of the game. Um, and I've been having a good time with that too. So what should we do here? This guy's got a missile launcher, and this guy's also got missile Or is this a missile launcher? PAP 55. Oh no, that's like a machine gun, isn't it? Okay. So who's hurt here more? This guy's full life. Oh, let's go after this guy. But yeah, those uh, old school from software controls um, in Armored Core 3 uh, definitely takes some getting used to. I remapped the, um, you know, the shoulder buttons that you use to uh, move your targeting reticle up and down uh, to the right joystick, but it still feels a little bit funky. Uh, but, you know, you get used to it eventually. I definitely think the standard sort of analog control scheme makes a lot more sense, but um, it's not the end of the world. And yeah, I never uh, really got a chance to get into the Titanfall 2 multiplayer because most of the people I play multiplayer with are playing on PS4, unfortunately, so... That's just, them's the breaks. Still had a good time with the single player though. I would recommend uh, checking it out. Um, it's a little bit lighter on the mecha combat than you might expect. And uh, it's a very, like I didn't get to play it on the hardest difficulty. I mean, I, I'm not to say, it's not to say I couldn't have, but I, um, I've only tried playing it on normal and hard. The, I played through the campaign on normal because it was like, oh, I haven't played an FPS in so long. Um, I might need some, uh, getting used to the genre again, but actually, um, yeah, it's, it's, it, like, the game on normal has almost, like, no difficulty at all. It's kind of just, like, you know, you're gonna have some pro uh, deaths that are attributable to, like, platforming, 
and uh, occasionally something in combat, but really the game's just set up as like a kind of, you know, standard FPS um, set piece walkthrough thing. Uh, you just kind of, it's almost on rails in a sense. Um, more just about uh, look, taking in the sights and enjoying the feeling of uh, motion and and the interesting weapons that the um, the titans have uh, than uh, challenging yourself. So, would be interested to go back to the game um, and play it on the hardest difficulty to see if it actually has any challenge to it, but really, um, compared to something like Armored Core, there's really nothing there in terms of difficulty if you're playing on a normal setting. Like, I wasn't even really any good with the Titan in the uh, second-to-last mission there, but I still just, like, blew through everything. But, you know, difficulty isn't everything. It's, uh... It's still a very fun game. Um, lots of good level design. Or, um, the machine design, uh, I guess it's the mechanical design, you'd call it. Um, art direction in that regard was uh, very good. I like the look of the Titans and the environments. Um, I thought the story was pretty weak, but... Uh, you know, it... It does the job. The game's not really about the story. That's all I'll say about that. There's nobody else that can attack this guy, so I guess I'm gonna go for it. Nice! Got that hit. But yeah, I'm, I'm so excited by the prospect of a new Armor Core game um, with, you know, uh, from maybe taking some lessons they've learned from uh, designing the uh, Souls games and uh, Bloodborne. Especially, um, I felt like uh, Bloodborne really took a lot of design inspiration from Armored Core for Answer. Um, in terms of the sort of aggression and speed of combat um, and the the emphasis on invasion um, but I, I'm looking forward to those design uh, lessons that they've learned being brought back into the Armor Core series I'm really hoping that um, we see more of a sort of organic flow between uh, scenarios in the game instead of having these very short, discrete missions that you've traditionally had. Um, and I really hope that there is a substantial and, and much better uh, single player component to the game compared to um, compared to Armor Core 5 and Verdict Day, which had um, in really interesting multiplayer dimension to them, but the single player was really uh, bad, and unfortunately, outside of Japan, the multiplayer was kind of just a, you know, non-entity. Um, I mean, if a game like Titanfall 2 can't get people to um, really pick up and play a mecha combat game, um, Armored Core is not going to be the one that makes it a massive multiplayer hit, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, um, I think there's a lot of potential there for a very interesting uh, mecha combat game.
can we get somebody who needs some levels in there? And if you're wondering why I'm not talking about the mission at all, it's because I'm really just kind of on autopilot here. This is a very, very easy mission. Um, and really has no tactical or strategic depth to, depth to worry about. It's just like, oh, okay, there are enemies, let's kill them. The enemies are generally quite underpowered. Um, and that is uh, partially because, uh, you know, in fact, um, this mission, I think, can be done slightly earlier than we're doing it. here. first, uh, or is this? No. Is this the first mobile weapon we got in the OCU scenario? I think that may be the case. Alright, we'll head on back to Grey Rock, and we can take a look at our spoils. You know what, I wonder if we go back and talk to um, the Colonel Olson. Uh, it doesn't look like the military district is open, so... So it looks like we won't be doing that. Alright, so... You are level seven, but JJ, he's level six, all right, so I think you're a good candidate to be using the Clinton. Yeah. Nice. Okay, his items are still set up. Cool. All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, the next episode will be something a little bit more um, interesting uh so i will see you if that next time